On the downwind, conduct pre-landing checklist as per normal. A beam the threshold, reduce power around 5%. The aim being to achieve base turn at 90 knots. Approaching the 45 degree line, go for an extra five seconds before turning base. Make the base radio call. Hold a minimum of 90 knots on base. The attitude of the aircraft is slightly higher than normal. Anticipate the final turn a little earlier. The correct glide slope is slightly flatter or shallower than normal. And the attitude of the aircraft is slightly higher. Maintain that flatter slope Normally less power is required because the aircraft is quite slippery. Trickling the airspeed back towards 82 knots VREF. For the flare, only a slight flare is used and we drive the aircraft on so as not to use a lot of runway in the landing. A go-round can be conducted from anywhere on base. In this example you'll see a go-round just after turning onto final, having shot through the centre line on the base turn. When you realise you need to do a go round, simultaneously full power, wings level, climb attitude. Check flap takeoff. Check power. Positive auto climb, flaps up, accelerating towards 88 knots. Trim. Power set, attitude set, look out, check flaps up, and manoeuvre as required to rejoin the circuit. In this example, you'll see an approach that's a little steep and the go-round is conducted. So going around, simultaneous, full power, wings level, climb attitude. 
positive vertical climb, flap takeoff. Look out, manoeuvre slightly to the dead side so that traffic and the runway can be viewed on the left. Accelerating, flaps up, hold the takeoff attitude. Approaching 88 knots, set power, trim. Look out, check flaps up left and right. Maneuver back into the circuit pattern. 